Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. 1490, 1433 or 33 Adam. Pick up out on a maroon uh, four-door Malibu with a temporary tag on it. 10 to report earlier. Any uh, specifics on it? He's got the VIN on it. It's a uh, 14. Uh, 14X. Where are you at, Joe? There's one just pulled in the family dollar store. Uh, Occupy one male black on Jefferson. They put a temporary pickup out on a stolen earlier on a, a maroon Malibu with a temporary tag in it. I just spotted one down the street. He, he uh, pulled into the parking lot down here. It's a possibility he may have seen me. Sitting right there in the parking lot, he may be out of it now. Go ahead. There he is right there. Joe, is that maroon or is it kind of metallic purple? Well, he's still sitting in the parking lot. I'm fixing to pull up on him if anybody's close. That's it, boy. I'm rolling your way to the car field. He's rolling. He's rolling. He's rolling. 33X, give me there. He's rolling on me. He's hitting the alley. We're going down the alley beside. Oh. Family dollar. He's running. We're going back up on 10th. He's cutting through a yard on me. He's going back up on 10th. He's bailing out. He's bailing out. Back on 10th, bailing out. Mel Black, going to be in a brown brown uh, shirt. We're going back, coming back up on 9th right now. Back on 9th, brown black, brown shirt. Coming out on Jefferson, right there. He's going to the car wash. Going to the car wash. Right there, right there, right there in the front of the business. Right over here, in front of the car wash. I'm right here at the Crossman Muffler Center. I'm right here across from it. He's laid down on me somewhere. Male black, brown, uh, brown shirt. About five. Five nine five eight. Jefferson, the description, there he is, man. There he is. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Put them behind your back. Okay. Put them behind your back. Okay. Put them behind your back. Okay. Put your put your hands behind your back. Keep your hands behind your back. Keep your hands behind your back. Okay. Keep your hands cuffing. Okay. Okay, man. I'm not moving. I'm moving. Thirty three X. We got him in custody around here. I'm, I'm, I'm not moving. You got him, Glenn? Yeah. Good deal. All right. I'm not moving. I'm not going to move, man. You got anything in your Open pockets? Your I don't. Your right, spread your feet. Spread your I, feet. I'll tell you everything, man. Right. Where'd you get the car from? A guy, I gave you a guy some dope for it. So just drive around here. When he bailed out of the car, he bailed out the window of the car because he was going through the alley and it looked like he hit something and it jammed the door shut. So he went out the window and the window, he was hanging by his feet upside down and the car was dragging him and he was, he was dragging him on his head and his hands across. He went all the way across the yards and everything and then it finally spun out of control and throw, it threw him out of the car. I mean, what am I charged with? Right now, auto theft because the guy reported his vehicle stolen. That's what, that's what scared me, I know. But the guy, I mean, that and running, evading, and hit and run, because you, when you bailed out of this car, it hit, a, it hit a building over here, and it hit this car. You knew you knew you were wrong. That's why you took off, man. Yeah, but you know, I didn't think, because I bought the car. It wasn't like I stole it. I took it from him. I you didn't it. buy it. I mean, no, I didn't buy it. You didn't you know, buy it at all. 
You illegally purchased that car by selling yeah, it was, drugs. It was illegal, yeah, but you didn't. Right? It's like I, uh, Two wrongs don't make a right. Do, made him do anything. All right? Two wrongs don't make a right. Are you hurt? Yeah, I am. Where? My neck and my back. Well, we'll take we'll take you over to the hospital. Apparently, when the guy bailed out, the car come up the side of the street here and hit this hit this parked car. Is this your car? Uh, yes. Yes, this is his car. Is this his car? Do you like? Are you interpreting for him? Uh -huh. Okay. Is, is he the owner of the car? Yes, he is. He um, just got it. Um, I think the first and second of the month. Okay. And it's, is it registered in his name? Yes, sir. How did it get stolen tonight? He said he was um, on 10th Avenue and um, he was doing something. He left, cut the car off and was, he left the key in there. He was taking something out of the car. He took something out at first, then he came back to the car and took something else out. And he turned around and the car was gone. Did he see who got in the car? I don't know. Okay. He didn't. He never did see who got in the car. Well, we got a guy a while ago that, that jumped out of it. He ran from us and jumped out of it over here in this grass lot, and it come over here and hit this parked car. So as soon as we get finished uh, doing what we're going to do on the accident on it, whether it be a, a traffic officer comes out or we work the accident on it, we'll be able to release the car back to him. I feel real good, you know, I got, the report was taken out at 12 o'clock. We recovered the car two hours later and within one block of where it was stolen from. Makes me feel good, you know, and, and what, I guess the big point was it made me feel good was the owner come up and shake my hand. Most of the time you don't have that. A lot of times uh, they just say, yeah, whatever, you know, you're just doing your job. Well, that's true, I am just doing my job. However, it it, uh, it does, you know, it makes you feel good. You know, it's like that little pat on the back, you know, how about an attaboy? We've got a, a lady calling in saying that there's five females that are beating up or trying to beat up her daughter. So we'll go see if they're beating on her or, or what. And so I think we're 97. 51, put us 97 over here. Okay, yes. is this your daughter? No, they do No, no, the other one's in the house, the one they started all the stuff with. Okay, I have a question. Where's the pipe and where's the gun? The pipe is in her car. What gun? The gun that they said somebody come out with. There is no gun. No gun here. They right. curse her. They call her names. I don't allow my children to talk like this, and I think these people's parents need to know about it. Okay, well. well and I don't even know who them. they are. I don't particularly care to be called MFers and Bs and, and uh, lady, I'm a good Christian lady. All I do is go to work and try to make a living. Right, okay. Well, I mean, these girls said they were just walking up down the street and they, they can do not. that, okay? But listen to me, you can't use a pipe. If they, they got four of them, I'm gonna use anything I got. You're gonna go to jail. Well, I'll go to jail, let them come in my yard, I'm gonna get them off. Right, but see, you can't be instigating anything like that either. Now, you can't be well, saying- Well, they can't come to my wait, house wait, and kiss Okay, me. but see, now y'all have had trouble, and now anytime they walk by, Excuse me, you're not listening you to me, okay? Yes, I do understand. My daughter can sit on her porch. Yeah. My daughter can walk in her yard. That's fine. These people do this every single day. You don't understand. I don't care what they said. I'm a 40-year-old woman. Right. This is what happens. They come down the, down the street. They stop in the middle of the street, and they say, come here, bitch, I'm going to whoop you. Excuse me. What I suggest is that you just ignore them and go inside. I've done that, and I'm tired of ignoring them when they come down to my house and they keep cussing me. I'm tired of it. Well, you can't go after somebody with a pipe, young lady. You're going to get yourself in trouble, OK? I have to get in trouble, because I'm not going to stand there and let them cuss me and come in my yard. Where I, I'm not going to be scared to come out my yard. It's, it's where I live. I'm going to go where I want to go. OK. Well, we'll talk to them, and we'll get them over here, and we'll have them talk to you. But now, you've got to be reasonable, too, OK? I you've got to be amenable to some sort of some sort of solution to this, OK? I don't, we don't even know what the problem is. All Shelly done was sit on the porch. She locked herself out one day. And the little girl said, oh, you locked yourself out. You know why you did that? Because you... You have oral sex. This is only in a nice way. I mean, you know, I said it in a nice way. Right. I mean, this is every day. And it's, it's getting on my nerves, quite frankly. Yeah. 
Here they come. Is that them? It's them. We're going to get them over here, and we're going to talk to them, OK? Where do y'all live at? On Montgomery. All of y'all live on Montgomery? Yeah. OK. Do y'all agree that there's definitely a problem here between you and them, and you and her? Me and her, I, ain't gonna, I don't even her. know them. She doesn't even know you either, so she can't understand she why. This every time we walk. Every time we come down the street, she calls us bitches. Well, she see now they say you're you're calling them bitches no, that's and everything not true. Yeah. She calls us bitches every time we come. Down okay, well somebody's lying then because y'all are telling me the exact opposite story. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna now, girl's face and tell her she called us bitches. Well, listen to me now. Listen, if y'all are gonna be walking around a lot, I understand it's the summertime. Everybody's out and about. If, if y'all are going to be fighting back and forth, and then don't come down this... Gun. He got out of the truck. He had a gun? Yeah, he, he got had a gun, and the other girl, she had an iron pipe. She was standing at the window calling her bitches. <laughs> you was standing at that no, window. No, I wasn't. Don't tell yes, me what I was. I was. Well, don't tell me what yes, I was. was. No, I wasn't. Shut up. Well, she ain't going to tell me what I was doing. My mom, I know. I'm, okay. I'm 17 years old. I, I know what I was doing. I was standing I, on the phone. I was Michelle. talking on the phone. I wasn't even looking at you. You was pointing to her, calling her bitch. Every time okay. I was okay. okay. jumped, tried to jump. Okay, so you know what? You know what that would tell me? Don't leave. That would say, don't come down this street anymore. Don't I walk by that. Why would you want to come out here with someone with a pipe or a gun and I'm get hurt? I'm not scared of no gun. I know. No, nobody's scared of nothing. I've, we've already established that. I'll take the pipe that. away from stick it up in it. That's what you yeah, just you told me. See? No. See, this is ridiculous. Why you won't fight? Okay. Stop. So now your parents are coming over here. We're gonna talk to your parents. How old are you? I'm old enough to do what I want to do. How old are you? I'm that's right. That means you're old enough to do what I want to do. Listen to me. That means you're old enough to go to jail. Yeah, I know that. You ain't messing around. I'm not gonna touch her. Listen to me. That means you're old enough to go to jail. Would you hush? Shut up. Would you just hush? Hush. Hush, hush. Okay. Why would you want to fight with somebody, okay? I didn't want to fight her. Look, okay. they even got the problems All I right. needed. She, when but she you're came threatening out, her right, right here in front of me. You understand? She, I could take you to jail right I know now. That. Don't point no fingers. Okay? You cannot threaten somebody. Neither can she. If you threaten somebody with a pipe, you're going to jail. You understand me? Do you understand? Answer the lady. I heard. What? Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. Who's this? What's these little girls doing now? These little girls don't know how to behave. Well, why didn't you look them? <laughs> this is a very good friend of mine. Okay. Why, why didn't you look them? Three years. Because that one's 18, that one's 21, 21. that's 14. These are your children. Yeah. You kids, I changed your diapers when y'all were babies. Did I say anything to you? No. No, she's gonna have bad mouth. I didn't say that. Which one's a bad mouth? Show me. Just point them out. Right there. Get in that car right there. Shut your mouth up, Shell, now. Excuse me. What'd you say? She knows me. But if somebody came out on you with an iron pipe, what would you do? Chris, in the car. I know that. But no, but what would you do? What would you do with an iron pipe? She's 21. You told her that, though. You shut your mouth. She told her you shut that. your mouth. I told her that. I told y'all when you were little and somebody picked a rock up and throw it, you throw one back. But you don't have grown up in the car. They're going to walk. They walk right. Okay. Right. Yeah, they're going to walk right. You're going to apologize. You're sorry. I didn't say nothing to her. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's hit the road home. But if you, but you told her, Chris, somebody came out with an iron pipe. No. I got off the car. Mama, Dad, she didn't even answer. She was answering the door. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Apologies. Shirley, my daughter has a smart mouth, too. I would handle the too, okay? Okay, they won't ever come back down this way again. Well, it, I mean, God, I don't want to Well, like I just told him, when April the Green just turned 18, she's falling in Chrissy, the one in the black. And why she's following her footsteps. <laughs> they told me you was your mama. I said, hey, never mind. We won't call the law. I'll go up there and we'll see. Okay. Well, thank you for coming yeah. out. You, you helped us a bunch. My mother's going to tear them up. Most of the time, though, that, that works out better than taking them to juvenile or, or anything like that once the mom or daddy takes, takes care of it, huh? I think she's going to take care of business this time, though. I tried to pick him up earlier, and a child's father was 1054 with a gun and threatened to kill her. What we got is it not on the car, or in another car. A lady's wanting to pick up her child, I guess for visitation. And she went over earlier to pick it up and said her husband 
wouldn't let her have the child and was 1054 with a gun or had a gun. Hello. Where's your husband at? He's right here. There, up there. I wanted. They're who? They who? My mom and dad. Okay. Uh, my son is up there. He's 12 years old. They've talked to him about I don't know what. Well, he's screaming and hollering and he's all upset. They told us to leave. I said, we need to stay here until Monday. We're moving Monday. Okay. He said, no, you're not going anywhere. So my daddy pulls a gun on me. He was going to shoot me. My mama grabs his arm, comes out on, on the porch, and then I shoot Rick. And I said, all I want is Jason to come with me. And I'm really to Do you want to go get your son? I want to go up there and get my my stuff, and I want to talk to my son. I, I don't want to leave like this and them saying we can't come back up, and I can't even talk to my son. Okay. They feed him full of bull all the time. They're constantly telling him. I mean, I work 10 hours a day. She doesn't work. She stays at home. We pay rent. We have a separate apartment, you know, in the same okay. house, but we have sink, stove, refrigerator, okay. you know, everything. So, and I pay rent there. They're married. They've got a son. Her dad, am I correct? Yeah. Pulled a gun on both of them and told them to get out. And apparently they're keeping the son. And he was sitting out in the car, out in, out okay. in the car. I was almost to the road. And he I was runs the out there. My daddy runs out there, going to shoot him. And he's sitting in the car, not saying anything. But if it comes down to it, let us know if you want to prosecute him. We'll all go down well, and get one. You go up to the door first. They won't shoot you. Yeah. We'll go, we're going to go up to the door and talk to them. you got a gun, too. Okay. We're going to go up there. Y'all can stay in the car. Y'all can stay at the road. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Come here. Open your door. Hello. Are you Cecil? That's right. That's right. That's right. What's going on? Can we turn that down? We can cut it off. We I can't hardly hear you. We can do better than that. What's going on? <laughs> okay. We got a call apparently from your daughter. Okay. Yeah, she's going crazy. Yeah. They want to take him to some of his friends. Well, he don't want to go. And I don't okay. think he should have to go. Well, they say they're wanting to talk to him, and I think they're going to play it by ear. They might let him stay here, but if he's still in their custody and a judge hadn't given y'all custody, if they say he goes with them, he he doesn't really have a choice since he's a juvenile. He'll go with them, okay? I think it's a pretty bad situation. Well, well anyway, I told Jason. But he's on the act. He's having to. Medicine. He's on okay. Now. Well. We'll go get them. Jason okay. is hurt okay. because of all the lies y'all tell him. Okay. Talk. No, no. Hold on. Jason, listen. Talk to me. Okay. Tell Just talk to her. About me. They no, have not. Yes, they have. Why don't you go back no. in there, okay? Please. Now listen. We we're gonna stay here until Monday when we move three streets up. That's all we're going to do. This is not any way for a family to be. They told you things to get you turned against me. We cannot stay here with people pulling guns on us. We might go in there and go to sleep tonight and wake up, not wake up. Am I going to have to get a cop again money to get you to move two streets up? Because you're not living here with these people. If This is it. If that's what you want to do, if you want to leave him here to Monday, and if you need help getting him to move out with you, you've got custody of him, and whatever you say goes. If you want him to go tonight, we can go that route. If you think leaving him here the next couple of days, things will calm down, and then you want to come back Monday, we, Do you want we can come back here Monday. Monday. Yes. Monday, am I going to have any trouble with you helping us move it? We've kind of got to go with what she says. Well, see, you're okay. not far from your granny, and I don't want you to hate your granny or nothing, but I'm not going to be around them, and Rick's not going to be around them. You can come around them, but if you start having a bad attitude about me and start calling me names and stuff again like you did today, you will not be able to see Well, Mama, I'm going to tell you something, and this is the truth. If he ever says anything to me like,
like he's gonna hit me or you. I'm leaving and he I'm doesn't. not coming back. He doesn't hit me and he's I'll not I'll go hit to you. a judge and he'll let me Jason, tell you. Jason, if he hit you, don't you think I would do something? No, that's just how you are. It took no. me four years to get away from Joe and he beat you every day. Right, but I got away from him. And we had to move clear across country to get away from him. But I got you away from him. And he didn't beat you, he beat me. And all men are not like that. Rick doesn't hit me, and he's not going to hit you. And if he hit you, he would be out of here. And that would be the end of it. All men are not like that, Jason. You understand what she's going to do, OK? So Monday, I'm off Monday, if she gets moved, and she comes here to get you, get your things and go, okay? Because she's got the say-so over it, okay? You understand? Till you're 18, all right? So just enjoy your weekend, calm down, and if those things are happening, if he ever assaults you, then that's another matter, okay? All right? Just calm down and enjoy your weekend with your grandparents. And then Monday, things will be settled down, and y'all be getting along better, okay? Apparently, he's already came from a broken home. He's already affected by it. Even in this relationship, uh, his mother's claiming it's a, a, a better relationship, that he doesn't beat on them, and that he's trying to do good. But to me, it seemed like he's carrying that with him and will probably carry it with him for the rest of his life. Uh, the bottom line, he's the one that's hurting the worst in all this. And keep it here on Zone Reality as we rev up the cruiser once again with another episode of Cops. That's in just a moment. Okay, we'll still send a code three.